Hey Scorpio, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your bonus reading. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, we have 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles, eight of swords. There it is, nine of pentacles. I feel like every Scorpio reading has that little bit of, mm, you know, it's like everything is great. And then there's that little bit of Scorpio energy. You have three of wands, two of wands, queen of swords, and the wheel of fortune with the star at the bottom of the deck. Scorpio, what are you doing? There is so much abundance in this reading so far. I mean, I can't even begin to describe how amazing this is. We have a ten of cups, ten of pentacles, nine of pentacles three of wands card of expansion wheel of fortune hello and the star like and the ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck like what more what more could we ask for i honestly feel like this eight of swords this queen of swords is you being so hard on yourself and wanting like perfection where maybe there can't even exist perfection that you're just like oh you know like you give yourself a harder time than you need to but honestly, let this be a secret between you and me. That's what makes Scorpios so amazing is we're never satisfied. We're never satisfied with ourselves. We're never, we're never satisfied with situations until we reach the point of understanding why it is that it has to be that way. Once we understand something, we get into this very powerful, magical place within ourselves. And that's the thing about Scorpios. We're so deep, profound, right? We want to understand everything so well. And it's because we know deep down inside whether it's in our subconscious or not that when we understand something we can do amazing things and i feel like right now your only challenge at this time is that there's still something here that you've been trying to manifest or create and maybe the understanding part there's a little bit of a gap there maybe there's still some more time where you need to develop understanding about something maybe there's still more you can learn about this maybe there's still something that is outside of your control even and that's why you're not understanding it 100 percent. and you're here trying to be the seeker of truth trying to get every single detail everything right but maybe you can't and maybe it's not because of you it's something else going on but you're just giving yourself a hard time you're here with the eight of swords maybe you're even being impatient for something that normally takes years to develop you want to do it in two days and so you're giving yourself this extra pressure and you're asking yourself why isn't this happening i want it so bad you know i've got so much passion for this and it's not you have to give it time i feel like you're you are on the right track so much so that literally everything here is confirming that and you're still asking yourself what's wrong there's nothing wrong scorpio the only thing here that's wrong is you putting pressure on yourself and you making things harder on yourself when you don't have to. I feel like that's just coming from you wanting to be good at something, you having this desire that you can't help but make things harder for yourself. It's almost like it doesn't even happen um, on the like 3D. It's like a, I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like when you're approaching an opportunity or you see something in your future, right? You, you can almost anticipate what it would feel like to be there you can't help but put a bunch of obstacles in your own way so that when you get there, you've proven to yourself that you deserve it. And there's so many things about Scorpio that as one myself, I sometimes get to this point where I'm like, I really am my worst critic and I'm my biggest enemy. And I'm always putting things in my own way for no reason when I have the potential to get to this point faster if I just allowed myself. Sometimes we need to flow with our own greatness instead of trying to defend it or prove it to ourselves so many times. And I feel like right now with this 10 of cups, this 10 of pentacles, you've got something in the works that's gonna bring in so much happiness and abundance, but you are putting so much pressure and strain on the timeline for when it's supposed to happen that it's giving yourself more stress more anxiety more worry than you have to and i feel like the challenge here is to go with the flow but if there's any water sign that has trouble going with the flow it's scorpio we want to be against the flow so that when we're on the other side of it when we're at the end of it we can say oh we beat that we you know we went through the the trenches and it was difficult and we we it doesn't always have to be that way especially when there's so much here to say that you've you've been deserving of this for so long 
and you've already been working hard on it without needing to put more pressure on yourself. I feel like you've earned this and you're not allowing yourself to believe that you've earned it. And that sometimes is one of the biggest downfalls um, of the Scorpio mind is we are so hard on ourselves that when we deserve something, when we've earned it, when we worked hard for it, it's almost like we forget. It's almost like we forget the effort that we've put into something. With this Nine of Pentacles, this is you being worthy of everything that you're accomplishing. This is you being worthy of your abundance, of your, um, you know, of the beauty in your life. And I feel like this Wheel of Fortune is saying this is only the beginning. There's still so much to uncover and discover and so many benefits and blessings coming your way. But you have to allow yourself to believe that you deserve it. You have to allow yourself to let it flow in instead of trying to go against the current every single time. With the star three of wands and two of wands, there's something here that you've been planning, that you've been wanting um, to happen because you need this in your life. I feel like there's something here that you've been seeking. It's something that gives you hope. There's something here that makes you happy when you think about it. Um, you know, it's almost a liberating thing as well. I don't know exactly what this is for you because it can be different for all of us, but there's something within the Scorpio Collective that we've all been trying to manifest. We've all been trying to get to this point where we feel nothing but hope, positivity, optimism, energy. We're tired of the darkness, quite frankly. I feel like a lot of us don't want to admit it because we thrive in the darkness. We do so well in the darkness that it's hard for us to admit that we don't want to be there anymore. And I feel like what you've been manifesting is a situation a life an outcome that brings you more light than darkness for once and i feel like we are getting so close but with this two of wands and the three of wands this is us not understanding that we have to go from the thought process to the planning to then moving and all of that takes time it's it's happening in chronological order and it's happening the way that it should but we don't allow ourselves to see it that way because we want it now we want our thought and our conception of this idea to be reality within seconds when sometimes it takes time to develop. And the journey is the part that we need to, that we need to, um, what's the word? Enjoy. There we go. You see, I couldn't even think of the word enjoy because it's so hard for me to allow myself to do that. But we need to enjoy the process. We need to enjoy the journey. Every step of the way we are growing, we are learning, and we are evolving. But if we don't step back and take a second to admire honor and appreciate that growth then it will be very difficult for us to really be happy at the end when we've finally made it to the end of the road of this particular goal or journey because we never stop there's always going to be something else but while we're going through this particular path while we are trying to seek this particular outcome we need to enjoy every step of the process or else we were we will lose ourselves in the self-limiting beliefs, in the negativity, in the darkness. We cannot lose ourselves in the darkness. We can only grow from it. Um, so really, Scorpio, this is just a big, take your time. Don't, don't be so hard on yourself. Don't put pressure on yourself. You're already there. I mean, you're, you're pretty much at the top of the mountain. All right, let's clarify the star five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck it doesn't surprise me this is you know the energy of having a fear of abandonment the energy of disappointment the energy of you know feeling left behind but i think this is us again maybe even taking moments of you know the positive things that are happening and saying things like oh we don't deserve it it could be better maybe this is us kind of really retreating into our own um you know fears and projecting them sometimes and maybe this is us going back to the past and thinking of our mistakes and letting those things be bigger than our current successes maybe this is our you know deepest and darkest things coming out one at a time and we need to address this and we need to face this and we need to heal from it and the fact that it shows up doesn't bother me at all and it shouldn't bother you either because it's us becoming more and more self-aware as we are getting closer to the light. With the Two of Pentacles, Three of Cups, and Nine of Cups, I feel like this is kind of the universe saying, Scorpio, you have what you need. You know, you have all these Nine Cups. You've already got the Ten of Cups on the table. You have to allow yourself to feel that, to feel that confidence, to feel the empowerment, to feel the self-love self-love that's a big one we have a lotus here in the middle of the card no mud no lotus i always say that to myself when i'm feeling the challenges 
no mud, no lotus. We can't get to the lotus without going through a little bit of mud, but we don't have to do it alone. Here with the two of cups, and sorry, the two of pentacles and the three of cups, this is you deciding to say, I'm going to choose to allow people to help. I'm going to choose my, my happiness here. I'm going to choose myself or choose to allow myself to be within, you know, different types of energies to surround myself we don't have to be recluse all the time we can al allow other people in while we are going through this we don't always have to be isolated in order to succeed and sometimes i think scorpios deal with that where we think we have to be alone in order to accomplish something that's not always the case we can find strength in having harmony and connections with others and this is you deciding to finally do that while you're also allowing yourself to feel the confidence and the self-sufficiency from this sign of cups so holy Holy moly, Scorpio. This is crazy. Amazing energy for you. I really, really hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.